Well, sunshine and warm weather will dominate through the weekend as our upper level ridge just blocks showers and thunderstorms for now. That could start to change next week. Could also get hotter next week. It was a frosty morning in uh, northern Minnesota this morning, as expected, uh, but still probably a little shock to the system, though. This is pretty normal for even this late in the season. 32 in Crane Lake and Ely this morning. A lot of 30s throughout northeastern Minnesota. Of course, they had that cold air move in, so they are set up for that uh, chilly night as skies cleared out. And we've got mostly clear skies, but you can see the cloud cover, uh, even in this forecast loop here, kind of making that clockwise rotation. That's the upper level ridge, which is kind of centered right over us. Uh, another chilly night tonight, though, not as cold, but still upper 30s, low 40s for much of those typical cold spots. Uh, Ely, Embarrass, some of those areas. And then even there, things will be warming up here as we head into the weekend. So still some pretty hazy skies today yet, but that smoke is going to start to dissipate and lift really into uh, Canada here over the next couple of days. So as we head into tomorrow, you'll notice the skies will be bluer. And especially Saturday and Sunday, it looks like we'll get a nice break from that smoke uh, in the sky for a while. That should help to improve the air quality at least somewhat too. So we've got that cool high pressure to the east centered uh, just off of Lake Superior now. It was right over it yesterday, so that literally pushed air outward that uh, we saw over 100 miles inland. Some of that uh, cool air all the way to Brainerd, modified Lake Superior air yesterday. And as I mentioned, this is looking at the upper level atmosphere, uh, satellite imagery, but these contours are the mid, mid and upper level contours. And this shows that the high pressure aloft is right over us. And that descending air just keeps things mostly clear, dry, warm, and quiet. And it's gonna be centered over us for the weekend. So that means any thunderstorm activity will develop uh, off to the west, and then it tries to lift north and east, but won't really get through that until next week. The pattern becomes more southwest to northeast oriented with the axis of that high pressure to our east. That'll allow at least some showers and thunderstorms to get through, maybe Monday night, some isolated thunder, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, we're looking at some very spotty isolated thunder. So this is going to be instability driven. We're not talking about widespread precipitation, uh, but there will be at least the chance of getting some showers and thunderstorms, which we'll need by that point. We are running uh, behind normal for most of Minnesota, except for the areas that got nailed uh, along the Minnesota River Valley a couple weeks ago. And especially after these warm, sunny, dry days, it's gonna be drying out even further. So pretty nice today, just a couple degrees above normal. 76, I think we'll top out at. Upper 70s, just gorgeous Friday, sunny skies. And this is a hard to beat Memorial weekend. Uh, you gotta go back to 2007 was the last time we had a holiday weekend where all three days, saw no measurable precipitation in the Twin Cities. Hard to come by this time of year. May and June are wettest statistically period of the year. Uh, Memorial Day looks great too. Things will be heating up a little bit. Uh, we'll be well into the 80s. Still a question of, do we get to 90? The models are kind of back and forth on that for the middle and latter part of next week. Uh, but we'll also see that chance of some thunder increase, which again, will be needed by that point.